Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the main man, and guess what? I have a thousand subscribers! Yeah! Woo! My subscriber base is now 1,000 strong, and it's awesome. And I have a big announcement. First of all, this is what I'm wearing. This is my Halo hoodie. It is my favorite hoodie because if you don't know by now, Halo 1 is my favorite game of all time. Like, nothing will ever, ever be better than it in my in my, in my eyes, in my world. <laughs> I'm wearing a Coca-Cola shirt. Because Coca-Cola is my favorite non-alcoholic drink of all time. I just, yeah, I, I, it tastes good, and it keeps me energized, and I, I haven't even drank it today. I'm just so, I feel so awesome right now, because I have a thousand subscribers. It's a truly remarkable milestone. It's like... Holy crap, 1,000 people want to watch my videos, or in my case, 1,000 people click the, click the subscribe button. And not all of them watch the videos, but oh well, who cares? This is for the, the people who subscribe who do watch my videos. And yeah, so, I, I, I can't believe it. I never thought I'd reach this point. I'd like to thank all the people out there. And my techno producer, and my mom, and my sister, and Jimmy for my middle school class. And thank you. This is my uh, my imaginary Oscar. You know, it's kind of big. Okay, how about, how about that? <laughs> thank you so much. All right. So you're probably wondering after my two minute celebration, you want to know what's the what is going to happen now. Why hasn't he been uploading Evil Rain Man? I'm sorry, but if you haven't known, subscriber box they've kind of been broken lately. Like two days ago, I went on YouTube and there there was no subscriber boxes at all, none. And with such a small subscriber base, I want you guys to view all of it. And if you can't view it, whether or not you actually view videos, but like. I'll say if I have 500 extra subscribers, not all of you will be able to see that I made a video. So why upload? Why? You're not going to view it. It'll just be all that work going down the tube. And I also, I've been doing other things. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing other people. I'm sorry. I've been seeing other people. It's, it's, it's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, just, I mean, I love making videos and stuff, but zombies isn't the only thing I enjoy doing. I like, I watch, like watching TV, I like playing other games besides Call of Duty. I like reading a good book. And my, I, I like, you know, some nice rich mahogany. You know, my good friend Baxter here. And yes, that is from Anchorman. So, that's why I've been uploading and the fact that... Well, actually, I explained it in the video. Not just the video. Okay. I, I didn't just make one video for you guys. One like, one, I mean this is a 1,000 fair video, but I didn't just make one 1,000 fair video. I made a fucking marathon of videos. You know, I didn't make 26 miles of videos, but so last week I, uh, uh, I felt like recording again, and of course, you know, you guys know what I like to do. I like to play with fucking randoms, because it makes the game interesting because they don't know what they're doing, they die, they down, they do retarded stuff. It makes it so I have to, I, I don't know, I can't just run around the circle, the same spot, and run the circle again, and again, make a left turn, and make a left turn there, and make a left turn there, and make a left turn there, you turn around, and if you shoot the zombies, then you're probably not that Easy. That's not that easy, John. With random John Madden, it is not that easy. All right, it is hard because they go down. You have to revive them, and they don't buy perks. They don't buy perks. They don't. They don't need Juggernaut. They do, they need. They can only take two hits. They can't take four. That makes it too easy. It makes it too easy when you can go only. When you take like four or five hits to go down, it makes it too damn easy. And. Sometimes what happens is they're actually good. They're like, ah, I'm gonna buy a perk and use a gun off the wall. 
and not upgrade until round 20 when I'm out of ammo. They're they're, they're good, but okay. So you know, like that's my explanation for like randoms. But you know what? I played with like the worst randoms known to man. Okay, I think. Oh wait, I didn't even tell you what it, my gift is. I played a zombie marathon. I just told you that like two minutes ago, but I played every single map with marathons last weekend. Every single fucking map. So Kino, Ascension, Five, um, Call of the Dead, Shangri-La, Moon, Dead Ops, Noct, Doris, Verruckt, and Shunuma. I played all 11 fucking maps with randoms. That's right. I didn't even plan it. It just happened. Like, I was trying to, like, just Kino. But it, it, I didn't do that well. And it wasn't my fault. I had a weird restriction put on me by myself, not by you guys. You, you guys are innocent. You got the little, you have the halos. You have the halos above your head. I put on myself to make it interesting. And it was. I'm not, I can't tell you what happened, but I, I put restrictions on myself. And, Okay, I'll just I'll put a little point there. That first game, I told myself I wasn't gonna fire bullets. I am not gonna press the right trigger. Actually, no. Yeah. Unless I get a gun that doesn't fire bullets, like a China Lake, a ray gun, a ballistic knife, a thunder gun, Arr, thunder gun evil. But if it fires a bullet, I am not gonna fire. I'm not gonna shoot. And I didn't. So I just knifed and used grenades, and it was awesome. And it's just you should watch it. And even then, like, when like with, I admit I died. But what I did is to make it interesting. When I was when I'm down and dead, I go into the mind of the randoms. I tell you what they are thinking. Okay, you, you want to know like why why do they not buy jug or why do they upgrade on round nine or why do they like leave the crawler and try and rebuild windows? I tell you why. I go into the mind of the randoms because I was them once. I was once a noob. I was horrible. I was terrible. I I couldn't get past like round six. I couldn't even get past the dog round. Right? So I know where they've been. I know what it's like to be them. So I went into their minds and told you what happened. And I played other maps and it was all the same thing. There's one game, ooh, one is a very special game. I didn't even plan it this way, but it was great. And I had a blast, I mean, I had a blast all of them. Oh yeah, not, even, not not only did I play with randoms, I was drinking the whole time. Yeah, the entire time I was drinking beer. I started off, I think after the second map, I got down, I took, I took a shot of Jägermeister, because mm, that tastes good. Not really, it tastes horrible. But it goes on your throat, and it's just like, ugh. And then you, you feel great. And I talk to you guys. I talk to people on Skype. Actually, about... I think it's like three hours long. About 20 minutes of it is me talking on Skype to people. But you can't hear them because I'm just typing. Or it's like me going downstairs to get a beer. But I was drinking and I felt good and I was having a blast. And I think... I don't even think I got fast round 20. Only that... I... Wait. I... Never bought a perk because either it was in my restriction or we just didn't get that far. On oh, FYI, this is before that new weird, weird update that put Mule Kick on every map, which is kind of weird because why? I don't why why I I just I don't know why you had to put Mule Kick on every map. It's just weird and. I don't know. I think the gift would be put Jug on every map. Because that is like, okay, well, put Jug on Noct. And, yeah, <laughs> that's the only map that didn't have Jug on it. <laughs> put Jug on every map. Put it on Noct. There you go. But I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I guess, I mean, yeah, every map except for one didn't have Mule Kick. So I guess it's a good gift from... Treyarch. 
There we go, not seeing that little bright thing at all. I feel kind of weird, I'm like diagonal. You <laughs> look good. Yeah, I got a haircut last weekend. I need I shaved too. I need, I need to shave now, but I was like, nah, I don't, I'm not going to shave. I'm going to show them my, in, in my natural state. And I feel like day nine the way I'm talking right now. But yeah, so. Escaping, I took um, my friend's advice on what to do on different maps. Unfortunately, none of them could play because they were noobs. They were froobs. They were jubs. They were tubes. I've seen people call someone froob. I don't know where that came from, but for everybody, I was drinking, I had a blast, and I, I, to be honest, I actually did pretty good, like, besides, I mean, obviously, I didn't carry them to around 20 or 30 or beyond, but I didn't really have a bad game where I played like crap. I mean, you should see, you're, you're going to like some of the restrictions I get myself, alright? I, I mean, I just told you one, don't fire bullets, which is pretty hard. I mean, you have to use the knife. That's, I mean, after like round four, it can get pretty hard, especially when your teammates are terrible. And, oh man, so I'm going to upload each one as a separate video. So it'll be like um, Marathon Part 1 on Kino, then uh, Part 2 on whatever map I did next, and so on. And I'm, I'm you know what, I can't, I sure I should have kept, now it's just like, on minute one, because this is probably what's going to interest people the most, but I'm going to do a contest. Whoever guesses what map I got on the farthest, you're going to win a prize. You're going to be able to do a commentary with me on live. I'm thinking definitely you and me, random viewer who guesses the map right, and maybe a friend of yours, and maybe a friend of mine. I don't know about that. Like, I would love to, like, me, you, friend, and then, like, Mitch, or Matt, or Hippo, or Thomas, or some of my other friends you guys don't know. But I can't guarantee they'll be able to do it, or if they want to do it. But, yeah, and if you're, okay, I know, it's, I can only do an Xbox. But if you're on PS3, and if you guess it right, I'll say, the first Xbox person to guess it right will get to play with me. And the first PS3 person to guess it right, you'll get to say, I'm going to choose the map, I'm sorry, I'm choosing the map we play on. Because I have to have some input. If you're a PS3 and you guess it right, or a PC player, you'll get to choose the restriction we play on. Like, I mean, you, can, you can do it like everybody does it. Each different person has their own restriction, but you get to choose that, and you get to choose a topic, like a topics that we talk about. So, um, bananas. And your favorite... I don't know, hippopotamuses. And Chinese men. Or, some, or your favorite movie. Like that. And I will constantly shout you out the entire time. I'll be like, go! If you're on PS3, be friends with Bob Dole Dude 57. Dole Dude 57's channel. And yeah, what the heck? Hold on. I'm not leaving. Oh, I only have like a minute and a half left. So, again, whoever guesses it first, what map I go the farthest on. You have 10 or 11 to choose from. And you said you get the prize. And even if the Xbox person gets it first, I still give a prize to the PS3 person. And I'm, I'm not, not even my know what map I got the farthest on. Only I do. I mean, actually, whatever. So, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't upload a video, but I was just waiting for, I mean, a thousand subscribers keeps getting closer and closer. It's like, that's a, that's a monumental achievement. And also, I just didn't want to upload when subscriber boxes are fucking broken. So, yeah. This is Rain Man, and peace out, and...